Now, with the Attitude Awards coming up this Thursday night, we are joined by the very first recipient of the Communication Scholarship. It's welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Olivia Schiffers, to find out where she is now. Yes, well, she's right Olivia. here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. She's here. Uh, it's lovely to have you in the studio. First up, let me, uh, can you tell us what did you do to win the scholarship in the first place? So the Attitude Awards Trust Scholarship is for a student who was studying at AUT, which was me, and had was studying communication studies, which was also a tick, and lived with a disability. So it was like it, the scholarship was made just for me. I live with a condition called muscular dystrophy, which I was born with. Okay, and what does the scholarship provide? So it helps with your funds. So you've got a um, big weight off your shoulders when you don't have to worry about that part of your student loan. And I also got to have some work experience in the Attitude Office, which was invaluable, just working in the industry and yeah, making networks and things like that. Making those connections, yeah. isn't it? making the contacts. So what did it actually mean to you? I mean, what's it helped you achieve? Well, work, so from the scholarship, um, Attitude was actually my first job out of uni. So I think having that first, you know, your first job is really exciting, it's scary, but it was just a really cool environment to, to be working. And I think why, what I really love about Attitude is that you know, you hear stories about people with disabilities which you don't hear on mainstream media. Yeah, and uh, not only, uh, it's, it's a great award show, it's a great platform as well, and I know that you're involved quite heavily in the digital content of the mm -hmm. Attitude Studios. What inspired you to get into communications and media in the first place? Well, I've always loved telling stories, um, and I think growing up, I didn't see anyone that looked like me on TV, a young girl in a wheelchair, and I think when you're growing up, it's really important to see people that you can look up to, and role models, and people like that, so mm -hmm. if there was any way I could play a role in the media landscape in terms of being a person with a disability that's a role model for another young girl, or just having that voice, which you don't often hear. Absolutely. And you studied overseas as well. Yes, that's well, how right. How was that? It was amazing. So I did my postgrad at the University of Helsinki. Wow. Um, in Finland, and it was just great. It was the best experience of my life. I had just, it was my first time moving out of home and living out of Auckland and in a foreign city. As far city. away as you could go. Basically, yeah. So we went right up to the Arctic Circle and um, yeah, did lots of touristy things as well. Incredible. So. And were there many challenges when you were abroad? I was actually quite nervous beforehand. Um, so I did lots of research and lots of Googling and to see what would work for me. But all the student support staff were really helpful and put me at ease. And what, the only kind of thing when you're in Europe is that because it's so old, there's lots of cobblestones. So right. you kind of get used to being a bit shaky. That would be and, difficult actually, um, wouldn't what the little things are. Yeah, yeah. What do you love about Attitude? Well, I mean, why is it so special? Well, I watched Attitude growing up, and so I think hearing stories which I could relate to was really mm. important to me. And again, I think it's you just hear stories and you see people which you don't see on mainstream TV. And I think that's really important to show all diverse sectors of society on TV. And yeah, agreed. Yeah, and you must feel proud that you're part of such an awesome organisation. But what's the future hold? Where do, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Definitely want to keep working in media. I think Attitude has been like a great platform to to experience and grow my passion for it. So yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. Grow, work at other media companies, and I think eventually I would like to work in a mainstream company because I feel like as a person with a disability, you can actually m maybe make a bigger difference. Because Attitude has totally got it down pat in terms of working environment with mm. a disability. So I think it'll be cool to see that in other organisations. You'd make a good host. I'm not. She would. Yeah, and it's <laughs> ironic, isn't it? Because I think it's all about your attitude, which is, you know, I, I guess why they called the show that, isn't yeah, it, in the yeah. first place? Yeah, you'll be brilliant. Thanks so much. For everything that you're doing, Thank thanks you. for sharing your story about yeah, us. You are inspiring. So much. Awesome. Absolutely, and I'm looking forward to the awards as well. Yeah, always good night. And if you want to find out more about Attitude Live and the awards, then head to the website on screen right now.